this is lighting up yellow. What is it? What is the item? Oh, okay, that counted, I guess. Ba -da, ba -da -da -da. Did we crash again? Can you hear me screaming? Ah! Ah! When it reconnects, does it send you another going live notification? Out of curiosity. Let's go. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. Oops. Nope. The morning free time is ended. You will attend classes as well as break day schools are free. You come home. You can stay on campus. So you're free. You like the equipment. Need to get a sweater. a young member stop that's so funny Oh, you couldn't hear me. Taking me down. I'm so used to voice to text that like typing things out takes so long. Okay, and then I have to put, sorry. Oh yeah, okay. Hashtag, where did the hashtag go? It was an option. There we go. I always forget I'm legit the baby of the community. Wait, Lordy, how old are you? I always forget. Oh, baby. Let's see, what was I doing when I was 23?
I think Bree and I were trying to move out. I'm keeping my itch to myself. Cass is in grad school. A lot of people seem to think I'm in my 20s and not, you know, 31. You know, now that I'm 29, I feel like late 20s, early 30s is just like the same thing. Like you, you're still in your 20s. <laughs> like it's no different. Um, sorry, hold on. I'm trying to post to Instagram. Respectfully, I don't know why my view count is so low. It could have to do with stream crashing so much. I'm trying to think what year I was 23. I think I started working at Half Price Books around 23. No, that was... Okay, I, I can't focus on two things at once. I wanna lay in your arms. Okay, turns out undiagnosed ADHD isn't conductive to self-directed learning. <laughs> I wanna. So many. Okay, wait, we'll get rid of that one. I had maximum 10 hours of contact time each week. Where's my structure? I want to stay here with you. There's so much going on in this. Okay, hold on. Ah! I want to stay here with you. Um, also, check out my Instagram story if you want to see JJ being really cute. You're going back to grad school? I, wait, didn't you finish? Narcolepsy! We are learning so much about each other right now. I want to stay here. I don't have enough lockers. Oh, it's specifically this locker you're meant to use. Whereas I used filler. I want to stay here with you. That's still not enough lockers. Shouting your name. And walk away. Feels like you're falling. Now who is to blame? Wishing you'd only be more like them. Over and over. You cry yourself to you sleep. And you are colder, much colder. If only you could see. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you came. Yeah, Cass, you're very cool. The interview is for the doctoral program. So you're getting your doctorate. 
No kidding. Also, I just made the connection. Designer May, like the designer comes from your fashion. I think I'm assuming now, but like I never made that connection. But I knew you did fashion. Seven-year-old me. Louder. Okay, these all count as desks. If I'm a fancy bougie school. Allie! Allie, thank you for 46 months. What the actual hell? How is that possible? 46? 46? So glad Bree's not home. She would yell at me. 46? How? How is that number here? That number is older than me. <laughs> Bounding, we did have our anniversary. In September, I think it was the, what was that, the 26th? That's insane. Yes, you found me on Halloween. Remember I was doing the phasmophobia. That was a dumb joke in 11. Thank you. I was doing a phasma, a tipsy phasmophobia stream with, who was that with? Caterade and I think one of her friends. You're pretty close too, Bounding. Nick, hello. Welcome on in. Got me loose in sleep, I am in too deep Like an overdose, you're the antidote Go in sleep, I am in too deep You got me sleep deprived Oh, I turned off all gaps ba da 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 ba da 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 Two years, three years. That's crazy. I clearly didn't want to commit to following. Not at all. You got me sleep deprived. Two. Lordy, you found me through Zoe. Yes. Cass, you found me through Jess. This is why it's important to raid people. And this is why I should be raiding and being a better streamer. And I've just not. Didn't come in, and when I did, I ended up a mod within like a month. Yeah, Ali was one of my very first mods. <laughs> That's what happens when you're a streamer and you don't have enough friends on Twitch to be your moderator. You take the first person who, uh, <laughs> the first person who becomes a regular and <laughs> shows up every day. Well, you're here. Cass, it's just... 
It's been a complicated relationship with content creation the last two years. I'm hoping that because, you know, the my mental is better now that Dolores is better, I'm hoping that it... It says this counts as desks. I stumbled my way in. It says it counts. It also says this bunk bed counts. <laughs> also, it says this counts. Push me off a cliff. <laughs> Can you imagine if these were my desks? <laughs> you can't even see the teacher with this one. Yeah, this one. Very cute. I love this. I started temping local gov and have been there for six and made a crew. You just stumbled into it. I have one fruit fly in my office that's driving me bananas. Well, maybe that's how you got it. Bananas. Ayo. I have found that I do like my coffee. I think I wanted to be a doctor. Didn't you say you had a fashion merchandise, fashion management? Imagine if you had one of the classrooms in the existing castle and they had those desks or even just in the library. Straight up Hogwarts, honestly. I want chairs. Should we do? No, I feel like they wouldn't have wheelie chairs. That's too distracting. Oh, I forgot these were singles. No. Cass was trying to warn me. Oops. So as soon as I made school started pre-med for the money, realized they couldn't do a job just for the money and then did fashion. I'm gonna do these ones. That's cute. I could just stick with these. Or the parenthood ones. What if we did the parenthood ones? Twitch being a bitch wouldn't let you type. Meanwhile, Cass's is duplicating messages. I realized at 18, I had an academic interest in med, didn't actually want to be a doctor. Lordy, if you go back, you go back. If you don't, you don't. But either way, do what feels right. I felt really insecure about the fact that it took me so long to get my AA, which is supposed to be a two-year degree. Because all of my friends from high school... <gasps> Sekogato! Sekogato, thank you for 44 months! Thank you so much. We're getting so many resubs today. You're spoiling me. What a little me? At least I'm consistent. You're absolutely fine. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. Oh my God. I didn't even know these were blue. It was on accident. I swear. Everything is all right.
Yeah, hugs to everybody, honestly. I don't want to talk about it, but also it doesn't feel real. I'm <laughs> breathing? My cat's adorable. <laughs> Fair enough. <sighs> I hate that my hair loves volume so much. That middle person's golden during exams. Making me get the grid out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. In a hamburger donut because he's licking his paws raw. They're becoming infected. He's on steroids, allergy meds. Gel to put in his little toesies. Five stream streak. I'd be stressed in exams, giving the impression of cheating. I, can I just say I'm so glad Twitch doesn't seem to mess up my, like, stream crashing and that you still get credit for showing up to stream. Because, like, today, this would be your first stream streak. <laughs> please, 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 Nick, please photo the photo of the little, du the little dungus. I mean, Doug, Doug, Gus. The Doug Nut instead of a donut. My hair is finally getting long, but fall means I'm shedding worse than my cat. Really? It's impacted by the seasons? JJ, can I steal your blankie? It's cold. You don't need this, right? Right? You don't need this. Oh, wow. I didn't realize you were sitting on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Um, this blankie, by the way, has glow in the di dinosaurs. It was a gift from Tannis. <laughs> it's very soft. I highly recommend it. Well, something I need set schedules for, not by me. Or else I will not stick to it. That'd be also stress. Thinking that makes me stress more. So it's the season. It's the season. It's the season. I have been loving my hair long. I've been doing a decent job of taking care of it. I'll be honest, if I had a regular job, it would be not great ever. Um, I've always been able to take care of the bangs. I think it's a, I'm gonna be honest, I think it's a little silly when people are complaining about it's hard to style bangs every day. You literally just like spray bottle, round brush, hair dryer, done. Maybe hairspray. And if you do it good enough after a shower, it lasts three days. You really don't have, you just have to like comb it out a little bit. The longest I've gone without fixing them and they still look good is about three and a half days. If you use the products. So I'm just saying. Um, and then no one can see your eyebrows. I'm sorry I stole your blanket, but don't be ridiculous. I just, my hair loves, my hair's thinner than it looks. It just loves volume. Like, this is without volume. Bangs are a lifestyle not a lot of people are cut out for. I can only have bangs in the desert. I have a colic. I'll look right where my bangs are so it never works for me in moisture area. And to watch my mother and former best friend burn themselves too much as a kid. Curling iron? Yeah, no, don't do curling iron. Round brush. 
And it's a nice exfoliator for your forehead. Don't go too hard. It hurts. <laughs> I don't do bangs myself. Hi, Zero. I don't know. I think you could look good. I'm old, Rayleigh. Okay, round brushes have existed longer than curling irons. Don't give me that. If you are skilled enough, learn. I am not skilled enough. Nassim is gonna attempt to teach May and I how to... Okay, can I just point out, like, I literally didn't know these were blue. There is an orange version. Oh, it's the top. No, absolutely not. Oh, it's Liam. Uh... Baby. Oh, Nassim's gonna teach May and I how to curl our hair with a straightener because we have no idea how we're how you're supposed to do that. Can you go away? Jesus. No, not that one. I've been loving adding little light switches. Never got the notification. Maybe that's what's happening. Zero, my numbers have been insanely low lately. And they get a little bit better if I do an Instagram post and a Discord. As an experiment, let's post to Twitter too. It also doesn't help that my stream keeps crashing. I've been streaming longer than 30 minutes. I'm not going to be self-conscious about wanting more viewers. I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's better for all of us. Sorry, I should have not gone on Twitter. Alright, hold on. Where's the clover? I want a clover. Baby! I mean, it should be a three clover because it's like for Catholics or whatever, but um... We're in books. Let's do books instead. People, bitches love emotes. Emojis? Whatever. I also spelled inspired wrong. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down. Why didn't you do what I want you to do? Oh, it's because I have a comma in it instead of a period. That makes a difference for links, I've heard. Anyway. <laughs> Don't do it. It's not worth it. Uh, Nick. Four years ago, it didn't move so fast. And it was still Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to 
the same. There's a. We built this off a foundation that was. the same but you have a really good point and I appreciate that thank you for your feedback it's really like genuinely lurkers are people too we built this city of rock and roll um but like the really vulnerable stuff maybe the chatters weren't sharing as much but at least on my end and the like complicated conversations we've had that's been from the start and that sense of vulnerability is what made what the intimacy that we have possible the only okay the reason i care about viewers other than you know like the validation of whatever more means more opportunities from companies or even just like free games and getting experience indie games that I wouldn't otherwise play because I'm uncomfortable doing charity streams when we're this small because it means every time I do a charity stream I'm asking everyone in the room to donate again and I know that a majority of our community can't afford to do that. And I'm uncomfortable with the fact that, no, I genuinely appreciate your subs and it helps pay for everything. So please don't, <laughs> please. <laughs> also the ads, I know. But it like feels like people are paying to hang out with me, which I know is not at all what it is. But sometimes I overthink it a bit. And that's something I've had to work through the past four years. Anyway, that's... That's my interest in having more viewers. It's the opportunities that it provides that then give more income. Because... I don't have a real job. And I don't want one. <laughs> That's the, I don't want you to feel invalidated or unappreciated. I stream every day because I need you. <laughs> this pseudo friendship what is it called parasocial is both ways besties it's both ways if it wasn't i would have not met up with lasana and zil in person and i wouldn't privately message at all so like when i'm like oh view counts really low it's not you it's not you and i also know because it's happened multiple times over the last four years. I know that what we have built has provided so much comfort to people who needed it in really hard times. And I want people to know that we're here. I want to know that this is a place they can go to, but algorithms don't push me when numbers are low. <laughs> Other people are missing out. And if you're worried, you know, about sharing these intimate things that we do share, I do want you to know the Discord has never been busy. <laughs> I suppose we can branch out and get bigger. But like, yeah, genuinely, the Discord's never been busy. Like, ever. I don't want one. Sure says the person looking to abandon us again to poke around in magical Irish dirt. We did to post until the heartfelt stuff stopped. Yeah, but now that I've done it, maybe I could stream. 
There's more space for personal attention on the Discord. Yeah, okay, that is a nicer way to phrase it. There is a more private, public space to be vulnerable if you do feel uncomfortable in a stream with more lurkers. Like, that's always a place you can go. Because not many people have been active, and that's just how it's been from the beginning. Which is fine, and I kind of love it. It would be very overwhelming to me if I had to maintain a busy Discord. <laughs> this is my diary. It's mine too. I, fun fact, my mom can't see. My mom can't see the, um, oh my God, what is it called? The second chat channel that we have. The drawing room. Yeah, my mom can't see that. <laughs> so you'll notice sometimes that that's where I put something that would be a vent. Because she does look at the venting channel and she does want to support you guys sometimes. But sometimes I want to talk about something with you guys that I don't want to talk to her about. Strictly only use the animal shelter. There's others. <laughs> um, also, if you have questions, that's why we have that channel. No, that channel started, it was actually Zill who started it at the very beginning of the Discord. The idea is that, um, what was it originally? The drawing room. Have I been saying boarding room? The drawing room. Um, the idea was, the idea was when you're in a channel, say the animal channel and you're posting photos but then your conversation turns into something that's irrelevant the idea is that you go okay well let's take this to the drawing room with cigars and whiskeys so it used to be drawing room with cigars and whiskey but that was very long and unnecessary and so sometimes you'll see if a conversation really starts to get off topic Aaron will be like, let's take this to the drawing room. It's to help lessen so that people who want the animal channel specifically for animals, it helps them actually keep using that channel. Does that make sense? However, things in the Discord have changed mostly on accident because I was trying to fix things. Um, so if you're missing channels, let me know. Because I, th I think I may have broken it. So just let me know if there's channels you remember having that are gone. Let me know. I will go try to fix it. At least for you. <laughs> Plus, no one wants to see me with whiskey. My family gets angry. I'm thinking of bringing back Tipsy Thursdays. To continue that Nancy Drew game. But it would be at least midday for me so that you guys can still do come. So right now it's like 1244 for me. Starting at like two for me, I can justify. Like how not safe for work was for statues. And then I posted a bunch of really not safe for work tweets and doomed us all. Yeah, when I started the Discord, if you look at the rules, it specifically says absolutely no, <laughs> not safe for work content. Absolutely not. <laughs> but then I was trying to show some ancient Greek statues that had dicks out. <laughs> and we were like, oh, <laughs> we need to fix that. <laughs> oh. And now we just have one, which is fine by me. I'm not, I'm not mad about it, but it is pretty funny. I was just so, I didn't even want to make a discord. I had like a, like a milestone or whatever. Like if we hit this many viewers, you can have um, a discord. And that's why I made it. But like, I really didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to deal with maintaining it. 
ultimately. I'm glad we have it. And I'm, I love what it's turned into. I never imagined it would turn into that. Can't talk about statues without talking about dicks. Honestly. So anyway, there's, we've been going through a lot of lore in the last month. There you go. There's some lore. That's where the drawing room came from. That's why we have two chatting channels. And that's why Rayleigh sometimes vents in the drawing room. So much tamer than a few other not safe for work channels and other discords. It's a good kind. Like, honestly, probably find a pull up at work. Just look both ways first. Not safe for work instead of porn. Where else can Rayleigh put her werewolf smut? It was one video. <laughs> got this okay do you actually need eight desks do is there eight students they were fully clothed Mods are very strict on people posting in the right channels which isn't really inviting in my opinion i feel like i'm assuming his discord is massive you have to be But again, I do feel like having that one channel that's just kind of like miscellaneous to be like, hey, let's take this to the drawing room. As opposed to be, you know, like being it's not it's not that big. It's like less than 10 people actively posting. OK, then that's kind of ridiculous. That's ridiculous. It is mechanically possible to create a household with eight teens and make them go to school together. So what you're telling me is I need eight desks. What if I tell you the classroom doesn't fit that? It's trash day. Also, hi, Luke and Rosie. You got this. Like, are they all going to try to sit down at the same time? Also, how are you getting 18s? Where are their parents? Anyway, stop distracting me. I want to get building <laughs> done. This is why I built off stream. I'm watching, I'm rewatching Veep again, which... This is probably over now, to be honest. I'm probably not going to watch Veep. It was fun yesterday, but... Some teams do not have... <laughs> <laughs> really, I'm going to hold your hand when I say this. Some teams do not have parents. Oh, you got me good. You got me good. I've never wanted to thumbs up a comment more. You got me good, Lordy. You got me good. They'll sit on the floor. <laughs> Are you getting 80s? Well, when mommy and daddies love each other very much, we're getting abducted. I'll be here all week. Okay, there are there are changes I can make to allow for eight tables. Wow. It's just I can put the desks there. That's fine. <laughs> I just really wanted them to have a window 
to look out. It's fine. This is good too because then the teacher can see if what they're looking at. You know, people like Zero. Or Lordy. You guys are so... Oh my god. Oh, I really appreciate having you in my life. I don't want to get sappy today. At least I'm not wearing mascara. Okay. That works. And they can still... They can still see it. It's fine. You're giving them windows to look out of? They should be staring at blank concrete. Okay, but like... For those of you who haven't seen, this is what we're building. So it's inspired by a mall that was in Galway, Ireland. Um, the original like Spanish wall that surrounded the city, instead of tearing it down in the place they wanted to build a mall, they just built the mall around it and like integrated it into the building. So like one of the towers was a store. It had like a bridge you walked in and then it was like a store. So the idea is that they wanted to build a high school here, but there was uh, a remaining Irish wall. In this case, it would have been a bon, which is what we call the exterior wall fence basically around a castle um specifically a tower house i built a tower house it's really good i can show you later um i'm gonna upload it together so you can look at it there if you want instead um so the idea is it's, it's uh like this ultra mo oh so the bond would have in cap would would have surrounded uh, a castle large tower it looks sounds exactly what it looks like um, but then also like, I don't know, other things that need to be protected and then usually farmlands on the exterior. Anyway. So the idea is that like, it's, it's old and it's medieval, but the school itself is ultra modern. Or at least, you know, as modern as Rayleigh will build. Ignore that. So wait, 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 that's what we're working with. I started yesterday on stream. Uh, and then I worked on it off stream as well. Yeah, it was one of my favorite things about uh, what I saw in Ireland in general. Um, we're sort of putting away any of our savings, which originally was an attempt to get a house and we'll see now with the upcoming you know we'll see if that's changed um every country is different luke ireland's very strict about development um and I assume there were a lot of rules put in place about using it. Um, and it being a historical monument. But also recognizing that like they need to use the space. Egypt, I don't think they would ever turn their pyramids or tombs into something. Um, I think his name's Hassan. He's like their government. What is his name? If you know, if you do anything with ancient Egypt, you would notice him immediately. Um, he's. How do I find this guy's name? 
No, it's like his name starts with like a Z. Oh, that's just bringing up a football player. Yeah, America. It all it depends on the state, Nick. Um, it depends on the state. A lot of one of the field schools I almost went to was to essentially move a graveyard so that they could expand the. It was like it was some sort of medical complex. The graves were from the former insane asylum that were never taken back by family or identified. So most of them didn't have a gravestone. So the job was literally to like move them to keep them near the medical complex, but literally to rebury them they had an insane interview process and that's oh here we go zahid hassan wait no you're a different zahid zahid is the right name watch me be completely wrong zahid hawas <laughs> He's an insanely controversial guy. Um, but he's like the primary ancient Egypt guy. So if you want to look up anything, look up this guy. Um, And lots of random shit. That's how we found Richard the Third in a car box. Um, I can't remember why we were talking about him. Oh, but like Luke, you should read if you're really curious about like you know you were talking about the pyramids as an example. If you're really curious. Look up his ethics and his like history. He is like. Obsessive almost about the remaining sites and tourism and like um publicity of it uh he's very controversial a lot of archaeologists don't like him if i remember correctly and i could be totally wrong No, I think I, no, I think I'm wrong. No, he was not, I don't think he was associated with that. They sent uh, human remains into space. Bones, bones, ancient. For funsies, like, no, there was no reason for it. It was just for funsies. Just for funsies, because they could. That was a couple months ago. That was a, that was huge on archaeology Twitter. Oh my god! If you're interested in archaeology, follow archaeologists on Twitter. The shit that happens, the drama, is incredible. Why would you put bones in space? Be because you can. Okay, he There's also apparently a thing called space burial. That's not what I'm trying to look up, but <laughs> fascinating. Jumping from cliffs so high. 
Um, I love niche drama for things you're not a part of, honestly. Um, here we go. It was an Australopithecus, which is actually one of my favorite ancient humans. That is quite the link. Uh, but I will also read it to you. And we can also put it here so you can read yourself. Unprecedented, unprecedented. An ethically contentious mood fragments of an ancient human ancestor fossils, including the Australopithecus Seb. Diba and Homo naledi, we love a Homo naledi. Homo naledi is a wild story that I can tell you. Uh, were transported to the edge of space aboard Virgin Galactic Flight September 8th, 2023. Oh, it was months ago, apparently it was a year ago. Um, orchestrated by South African born Timothy Nash, received criticism. It was Lee Berger, an explorer and National Geographic explorer in Russia. Residents who played a crucial role in the discovery selected the fossils for this journal. We will talk about Lee Berger. Uh, two million year old fragment of a collarbone of the Australopithecus sediba and a thumb bone from the Homo naledi dating back 300,000 years ago. He defended the mission, emphasizing it symbolized humanity's appreciations for the contributions of its ancestors and ancient relatives, noting that without their innovations, advancements like spaceflight may not have occurred. Anyway, you can read more of that in your own time if you're interested. Lee Berger. It's so disappointing that he was a part of this. Lee Berger discovered Homo Lunality. Homo naledi was a brand new, like aliens with record players. I love that. That's one of my favorite things human have humans have done. The pressure of space just crushed the fossil. It was on a spaceship. If I remember correctly, like in a suitcase. So if it didn't crush the human, it didn't crush the fossils. They literally just did it for funsies. There was no need to do it. Um, there was no like scientific reason for it. It was literally just for funsies. Okay, so Lee Berger discovered the Homo naledi and it was a brand new species of the Homo tree. We are homo sapiens. We are homo sapiens sapiens. Um, they're, they're a branch. They found it by tripping over a skull that was just on the surface of Southern Africa. I can't remember which country he's in. Like they literally, they knew that, I think they were going caving or something. And literally, they tripped over a skull. It was just on the surface. He ended up, there's like lots more to him. I really loved his uh, Almost Human. It's a very good book if you're interested in archaeology. It's very accessible in terms of language. Um, it was written very well. It's one of my favorite archaeology memoirs. Um, it's his life, but it's almost about. The, it's also about the Homo naledi. Um, he ended up building an entire institution that is revolutionary. It's a huge lab to study ancient human bones and, I believe, artifacts. And they were one of the first institutions to push for open research because archaeologists tend to keep what they find to themselves until they write up a port and share it 
but even then they tend to keep the artifacts to themselves and they were one of the biggest proponents for open source research and like sharing what they found so that other people get can, could look at it and they did this by uploading the files for 3d printing so they did scans of their stuff so that other people could 3d print it and study it It's this massive institution. He's a huge figure in archaeology. And the fact that he was one of the people to do this. It's a case of can you separate the art from the artist? <laughs> like, his institution is revolutionary, but clearly he does not view human ancestry with the same sort of ethic and he's american so we can't pull a cultural excuse why waste a perfectly good fossil so yes but also yeah he's white and american um He's definitely white and not from Africa. He could be like Canadian or something. Um, but he has no claim to, well, his claim to the land is the fact that we came from Africa. So he could pull that, but death is the author. Um, what was he saying? Oh, artifacts, okay perfectly of a good fossil so the issue is not whether or not the fossil was wasted the issue is like the respect to its owner um when an artifact this is why i hate when people um do the, uh, what is it called? The metal detectors. Once you move an artifact or a bone from where it's been sitting, you've altered its provenience. Hi, Tub Tub. You've lessened the amount of research that can be done now. Yes, bounding. Pro provenance, Proven pro provenance. I always mess up the word. Pro I always pro provenience. I'm gonna say provenience. So when are you moving to Germany? <laughs> if I'm moving anywhere, bestie, it's to Ireland. Although I could go to Germany. That's where my in-laws are. No, we're not moving. Um, but our gas prices better go down. Um. So a lot of times, a lot of times, uh, archaeologists will have someone come up to them. This happened at the museum all the time. People will be like, I found this thing, this artifact. Well, we don't know where it's from. We don't know where it was located. We don't know what it could be associated with. If there was anything nearby. Um, it's been removed from its location. And so at that point, from a scientific perspective, it has significantly lost its value. You can study it, but you can't really connect it to anything else. You could identify what it is, but that's about it. Um, and so they actually use a lot of those things to teach, especially to teach to kids, um, because it's something that like, if it gets ruined, its scientific value was already kind of worthless. Um, so at least they find a use for it, but the fact that he found a use to put it in space, so unnecessary, so disrespectful. Yes, 
context. It removes the context of the object. And to be honest, that is more important than the object itself. Usually those metal detector guys just find old bayonets from World War II. Um, there are in France, I'm sure in other places too, people fish with magnets from the Zen uh, and find all sorts of shit. And a lot of it's modern and useless like bike wheels. But sometimes they do find things that have archaeological significance. And granted, underwater archaeology is really expensive. Um, but you still lost, you know, like the con yeah, the context of the object. Um, it's also illegal, I should mention. It's illegal to remove those things. It's not like it's not um, enforced most of the time. But like, if you find a bone, if you're hiking and you find a bone, removing it is illegal. You need to report it. You, uh, as far as I know, you report it to, you know, the police. They usually get an archeologist involved. You determine when it was from. That's a forensic archeologist, um, forensic anthropologist. I took a class for that. They determine if it's recent or not. If it's not, they determine if it has historical value to the state or local communities. Like it's it's got so many steps before it's actually removed from it where it is. What if it's from 100 years ago? That is called historical archaeology. We also have contemporary archaeology. There was a really interesting we're just chatting right now. There was a really interesting uh, paper I read early on in my education about a man who used water bottles to track illegal immigration from Mexico. Uh, he refused to share his research. That's a great example of when not to have open research. Because <laughs> uh, he refused to let that be used as a way to prosecute the illegal immigrants. Um, my friend was a museum curator. They were talking about how many things in museums are acquired legally, but could argue not ethically, or if someone bequeaths something to a museum, do we know how that person got that? Yes. Well, and there's a lot of times when people give things to a museum as a donation, there's so much paperwork to exchange ownership. Like, when I say archaeology is a lot of paperwork, it's not digging, it's paperwork. <laughs> but to Tub Tub, I worked on collections from like late 1800s. <laughs> archaeology is the study of human material. It's not about age. It's about anything that humans have interacted with which is why you have zoo archaeology, which is the study of humans' relationship with animals. So that's where mammoths come in, and that becomes archaeology as opposed to paleontology. Could be paleontology. We could argue it's both. Archaeology just has a lot of different marriages with other, other types of science. So, like, we have... Ge we have a uh, geological archaeology, which was what my dirt class was. Is there a middle ground of medical and archaeology? We have medical archaeology. <laughs> well, it's medical anthropology, but you could argue that it's archaeology. But there is an entire branch. I took a medical anthropology class. And that's where we get, you know, um, I can't remember what it's called. But when the people go, the ethnographies, so it's when people go and they observe a community. Um, my professor went and was working with a community in Africa, and I don't remember where. Uh, and she was studying specifically um, motherhood and um, like pregnancy and the medical issues surrounding pregnancy. Um, 
and like the difficulties of that because you're with a different culture so there's only so much you can alter before it becomes an ethical dilemma um and you have to you have to make it a choice you have to make it a choice for it to be considered ethical within the field so like introducing clean needles that community gets to choose whether or not they trust you is that where we get disease history as well i would say that falls more into disease science than archaeology but there <laughs> there is bioarchaeology <laughs> which studies the human body and not just ancient But again it's mostly lab work and paperwork like all of those fields is there there's gaming archaeology there are a lot of archaeology gamers who try to d figure out how to use the medium to introduce the general public into archaeology and like understanding its value and also its influence. So you made a little joke, but actually. <laughs> Ar Archaeology is much more immersed into your world than you think it is. And that's why it has value. But the problem is, is it's not as glamorous as like King Tut and fancy jewels which is fair humans are a bunch of fucking crows and it's really cool to see like physical items but a lot of archaeology is like sticks <laughs> dude with fancy costumes oh my god okay so i keep phrasing it as medieval disneyland um it was a nice stick though well i wouldn't say so it wasn't that cool of a stick but it could have been a fish hook we don't know it was with a bunch of other fish hooks so maybe um it's okay that was not a collection that was being studied that was one that was being repatriated uh which is what you call when you give it back to the indigenous people it belongs to that's what repatriation is my favorite is what it is say it was probably used for ritual purposes. Yet that's being pushed out, especially as more and more LGBTQIA plus people are joining in. And oh, time is over, but it was nice. I mean, we can keep yapping. I just also want to get this build done because it's for a build challenge you guys are making. Um, with a vampire. Um... I imagine that all the cool jewels and stuff have been picked over by gentlemen scholars from England now. What do you mean? I mean, a lot of them are in private collections, yes. Because, you know, rich people got bored in the 1800s and 1900s and they were like, what if we just went to other countries and stole their stuff? But like we're still finding more if that's what you mean that's like all gone but like we, we're st we still find more and more there's always like a mysterious blue carpet <laughs> no luke no they they really liked ancient egypt they really liked asia they really liked ancient Egypt. Greece. I think I said Egypt twice. Greece. They probably did get rid of a lot of the non-flashy stuff, yeah. In fact, in fact, one of the sites being worked on near the Great Pyramids and the Sphinx is a... Um, 
a builder's barracks. Um, or soldiers. I think it's both. So where the people were sleeping when they weren't building a fucking giant fucking triangle for no reason. Um, and there are piles from when it was excavated from previous archaeologists. And they're actually going through the piles to see what was disposed of now that we've changed what's the concept of what's important. So they may have lost the provenience, provenance, however you fucking pronounce it. I've never known. They may have lost the provenance, but at least they know it's associated with the site. And if they're careful about it, what's on top would have been on the bottom. So they at least have some idea of where it may have been, assuming it's not disturbed. The bottom of the piles are going to be a lot more reliable for the top than the top is for the bottom. Am I making sense? So it's very interesting, like the idea of they trash Falash's stuff. Where are they putting it? Well, it's in piles next to the site. It's not like they got rid of it. And a lot of times they didn't fill it back up. They didn't give a shit. They just left it. Archaeologists just digging through trash, y'all. We're just digging through your trash. But yeah, it's always blue carpet. Why is that? It's a fancy school, but I'm still going with blue carpet. One man's trash is another man's PhD. <sighs> I love that. I love that a lot. Is this too much blue now? Or is it kind of a vibe? I think it's a vibe. I like that you keep saying things and I'm like, well, actually, <laughs> there's a field for that. <sighs> yeah, modern archaeology uh, as a field, the field of modern, modern, because modern archaeology is a phrase. Archaeology as a field right now is doing everything it can to become more ethical and we're getting a lot of pushback from old people archaeology of the modern era still describing a field though damn boomers um Again, these stories might be repeat for some of y'all, but that's the curse. Um, the project I worked on for the uh, SAA. Um, which now I can't remember what the A was for. Oh my God, we should put these in the library. Society, the Society of American Archaeologists. Um, it's always new stories. Well, good. I always get insecure about people being like, Rayleigh, you talk about this all the time. So when I worked on the project for the Society of American Archaeologists, as an undergrad, paid, might I add, two papers. Um, that's right, unpublished. Okay, I'm done. Now I forgot what I was talking about. The paper we were working on was analyzing a survey that had been sent out to all the members. The important thing to know about the Society of American Archaeologists is there is no requirement on um, like experience. Like you do not need to be you do not need to be an archaeologist to be a, a part of it. She published. As an undergrad. 
Um, anybody can join. Any person can join the society. You could join. You just have to pay a membership fee. And then boom, you're a member. So they sent out a survey because they had like the rules, like the 10 rules of the society or whatever. But they were old and they wanted to update them. So they put out this survey. A lot of it was just like pick a bullet, but a lot of the questions had text boxes. And so we had to go through and try to quantify that, those submissions. I'm sorry, they're blowing leaves like right next to me. Which meant we had to come up with categories and then tag the text boxes to say like, oh, they're discussing this. They're discussing this. So like they're in discussing um, intellectual property or this person's talking about race. This person's talking about field school, that kind of thing. Thousands of submissions, mind you. It took me hours to go through these submissions, but it also was incredibly and disappointingly enlightening about the mentality of the people in the field. And the people who are joining the society are like, you know, people looking to network or people to look looking to look cool on their resume or whatever, like and a lot of old people. And there were so many people that had submitted things about like it's important to know the um, demographic. We had one black person or like one person who we had like race identification, one person identified as black. <laughs> So like demographics important, like ages, it was mostly like boomers and older, uh, also useful data. Um, um, very disappointing, uh, especially if you have, you know, rose colored glasses on about the field because you're an undergrad. Um, I want to be with you. There were so many that were like, indigenous people shouldn't have access to the stuff we find. They don't know how to take care of it. Or... Uh, I'm trying to think of other ones. There were a lot of them talking about the uh, essay that happened to them at field schools, which is one of the reasons I was scared to go to field school. Um, Indeed museum curation. That's really cool. Very specific, but very cool. I think we're just going to do that. I want to be with you. Like, I just want a tiny. Kind of like the black bet better, actually. Uh, I never use this bookcase, so there we go. <sighs> anyway, there were a lot of disappointing submissions. I'll just say that. Uh, a lot of disappointingly prejudiced submissions. And it very quickly was like, oh. This is the field I'm entering. Cool. I almost think every undergrad should have to look at those submissions. <laughs> uh, just to give them like a, are you sure? Just want to double check. You know what you're getting into. Hello, Seneca. How are you? Okay, how do we think? Is the classroom done? Do you like it? I feel like there needs to be a poster here too. Or I just size this one up. There's gotta be another science poster. There we go.
I also kind of like want, I don't know, something here. Trash can, there we go. There was always a trash can at the back of the room. I'm interested to see how many Europeans does this feel familiar to as a classroom. Not the computers in the back. That's not familiar for me. Well, it's not fancy computers. There were like big chunky computers in some of my classrooms. And not the fancy walls. But like the desks, the counters in the back, the trash in the back. You would sit in pairs for every class? For us, it depended on the class. We had pairs in, well, it depended on the science class. Sometimes they wouldn't necessarily do pairs, they would do fours. So it'd be like this and then like this for some reason. Well, so they could see the teacher and not have their back to the teacher. I always felt like, I mean, it would just look cooler if it was like this. I just think that looks cooler, but. And of course there were like 50 and they were disgusting desks with God knows what, and the chairs pulled your hair. Yeah, Bounding, it depended on what science classroom I was in. Like my chemistry class was massive. And so it had the science tables like along the walls. And then we had just like a mass of desks in the center, but Actually, that was pretty common in most of my science classes. Now that I think about it. Okay. What else am I missing? Oh, I wanted to, let's, let's queue up these bathrooms real quick. Don't usually don't have more than 33 people in a class. I would say that was true for us, at least in like public school. When I got to college, it was different, obviously, because you have lecture halls. Yeah, art class was always in fours on like a wooden table too. Experimentation rooms. What am I looking for? I want like a little bench. Most of our tables except in the art room had that weird light. What's it called? It's that awful texture. I know this word. Linoleum. Like a black. Yeah, too smooth. That's hysterical. No, no. 
Cause I got you. I got you. Uh oh. One dude found his dad's name etched into the table. That's so cute. Oh, there's a mirror there. And it's fancier mirror than that one. Awkward. We were banned from experiments because we would just sit fire to the cast taps. See, yeah, the Bunsen burners, I think, were the ultimate reason that that was not our desk. <laughs> but it's cute that we all had like Bunsen burner thing. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's cute. We all had that. I learned this trick from uh, Simlessy, by the way, where like when she has an awkward corner, she just fills it with a wall. <laughs> Can't fit it, build a wall. Done, don't have to worry about it. Kept exploding test tubes on Persive. We were essentially the AP class for science. Universal Bunsen Booner. By the way, do you know what a boy's restroom looks like? I'm assuming disgusting. I was in the boy's locker room though, and it looked just like the girls except they had a different floor. We thought we were gods for ha being the highest ability class. Oh my God. My school turned off the Bunsen burner and gas taps unless the teacher told the school they needed them off. See, our teacher had a control within the room, but that's hysterical that like the school was. Oh, I didn't put toilets in here. It's okay. There's a bathroom right there. It's not really meant to be a bathroom. It's meant to be like, uh, like you went to gym and you stinky now. Uh, urinals. I think we have urinals now. No, we don't have urinals. Interesting. Na 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 na. Okay, you're supposed to keep the color. Some of the faster gyms in high school were foul. I luckily didn't have gyms, so. He had a urinal at home? Oh my God, I love that. Okay, we had to move the student store in order to fit a classroom downstairs. But what I'm thinking, since I don't know what to do with this space, well, I still want this to be like a lab and have like science things. So if you want to stay after class, you still have access to like stuff. Um, here's some TMI that my wife I don't think would appreciate I'm sharing, but when she has to like number two, she waits until she gets home. She holds it for as long as she can. Doesn't matter where she is. She waits until she's home. But she's got her body trained in her morning routine so she gets it done before she leaves the house. Also the ones in the history building those we shared with school districts, troubled kids, <laughs> you'd find things like lights broken and usually used to cook. Oh my God. Shitting on the man's dime. I mean, she's salary, so she technically is on the dime. She works from home. I feel like that's an important note. Feeling 
Lordy, I don't think we're going to be able to fit a student store. Where? How do we find? Okay, hold on. Let, first, let me put down. Okay, first of all. Down to some telescopes. I can't believe how long it took them to give us nice telescopes. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Again, I would like to say I just take for granted that everyone has get to work at this point. So if you don't, I, I do apologize. Seems to be able to die at school. Once you have diarrhea while doing camping thing at school, you lose all sense of shame. Oh, and I wanted to have a debate set up in the library. There's so many side activities that I want to have, but it's just going to make the school feel empty. Oh, we have to do the principal's office and administration still, too. We could expand the library this way. It wouldn't look that weird. And a library can be big and empty. <sighs> I'm conflicted. Okay, first of all, let's save. Um, once I had C. diff, did not care about pooping in person uh, around people because I would have not survived. I was on campus five days a week, five, six days a week. Like there was no option for me. There was no choice involved. Wait, what if the debate was in the cafeteria? And you're like forced to watch that girl debate while you're trying to eat? Like on a stage? Okay, that's all I needed, Lordy. I was just waiting for, like, literally one person. There was always a stage in my cafeteria anyway. Even if they didn't actually use it. Our stage was the gym. Yeah, they used the gym for like assemblies, but then there was always like weirdly a stage on the, on like for no reason. Why, why is this here? Okay, I'm also conflicted on what uh, stone to use. So please feel free to consider. Do, I think I mostly settled. Oh, I get, well, no, just kidding. Apparently, I did decide. Well, no, I didn't decide. Okay, so this is stone from outside. It's from the castle pack. This is from one of the kits. 
like the Riviera kit or something. And it just looks a lot nicer in the ideas that like they painted inside because this is just so harsh, even the like washed version. What are our thoughts? For some reason, the only school with an auditorium was elementary school. Oh, this is the one I wanted over the trash can. And it's funny because it lines up too. Like, throw it in the trash, planet will die. Throw it in recycling, the planet will live. Is me and you. I just, again, feel bad using lots of packs and I feel like I've already used a lot. There's <laughs> no place to put. For the thrill of it. For the thrill of it. I don't actually know how much space you need for the debate. I've used it multiple times and I still didn't ever pay attention. It's like two separate sites separated by two minute walk because one half was used to be the grammar school. I don't want to mess up the facade on the other side, so we're just going to have to use lights. Makes one really groove. I want the like stage lights. My poodle's in the way. <laughs> Oi, you with the poodles! You, you, ooh. You can call me when we're naked. So let's just face it. I only remember how they taste. Naked. Don't have time, so let's not waste it. Don't remember how they taste. Naked, naked. I know, right? I can only connect it to one YouTube channel without paying more. So it's only connected to my VOD. Too, which is a shame because uh feels underneath my lips because i would love to be able to use it as copyright for you music on like youtube videos anyway oh don't worry we can turn it up a little bit and something about the way you move. We can start over. Makes me want to feel your groove. Something about the way you dress, baby. Got me feeling like a mess, baby. You should still have her. Go with Sammy with her. I just want to be there with you.
I haven't kissed your lip for days. Naked. Feels underneath my lips. Something by the way you look at me gives me every time I see your face. I should still have her, though we say we do. I just want to be there with you. Okay, what do we got? Let's do principal's office. You can tell me when we're naked. Let's not waste it. Don't remember how they taste. You can tell me when we're naked. Let's not waste it. Oh, Tool, how have I gone so long without you? Anyway, there you go. That's the song, Naked. Uh, that is from a playlist made by... Oh my god, what's her name? Her real name's Claire. I don't remember her Sims name. YouTube creator. Anyway, it's a playlist called Sims Nostalgia. Yes, the vampire song played earlier. I guess I did the music too soft. Her name's Claire. She uses a lot of peaches. I'm good at this. Uh, I just want you to shuffle. Okay, let's see how this goes. You let me know how the volume is. This is me talking. Yeah, it's at like the beginning of the playlist. Oh my god. Instrumental bop. Go, go, go. Also playing sim, so I may have gotten distracted. Fair. I want it to take up the whole room. Put it back at 1.5. What about 1.6? Okay. She needs, obviously, a plant in the background as well. Well, maybe not in the background, but definitely in the corner. There we go. She needs a chair. 
I hate that this is her desk. How did I mention that? I don't think I mentioned it. I have zero patience for kids' homework. Someone save me. It's Ellie! Oh, Ellie, I'm so sorry. I hate to be this person, but you chose to have those little munchkins. And you'll love them. You are safe. Now you're here. Well, this makes it look like my hair is cut uneven. <sighs> okay, now we need chairs that you sit in when you're in trouble. Ooh. Ooh, chairs, if you will. These are satisfactory. I mean, it doesn't really match the school, does it? Like, the whole thing is the school is modern. As far as my brain said, it's stu stupid single simple, but they're just learning. I'm going to bed. I have a meeting at 9.30. You got this. Have a great rest of your night. Thank you again for hanging out with me. It's always a pleasure. And it's a big honor. This seems like a stupid chair to use. What about this? No. Oh, you're so cute. But I'm trying to pick a chair, so. Is this too matchy matchy to the carpet? Cause I'm kind of obsessed. Yeah, but they're unusable, Rayleigh. It's fine. I don't care that much. You shouldn't either. Oh no, she'd have the same computer as everybody else. Oh my God, bounding. And on Steam. I mean, people follow me on Steam, so, you know, I'm not going to question it. Thank you for saying that. I really appreciate it. I don't know what that list is. Sorry. Oh, it's that. Sorry, I'm looking for a specific file, but I'm really good at not labeling things. So there's a million. Okay, I found it. to help homework. Hubby just drives a truck, so I'm the only one here. Well, let us do the homework. <laughs> Lizana and I are the 
same page. Well, okay, what's the homework? Let's uh, we'll do it for you. What is the standard like lamp I've been using? Okay, well, first of all, there's that's unnecessary. I use that lamp and use those for the classroom. Okay, I guess I'm just using a standard. I want I was going to make it look special. I just feel like her office would like be a little bit fancier, you know. Today's prompt was support. Let's support each other. If it's mouth, help me out. I love you guys. I love our little parasocial relationship. Oops, wrong button. Oops. I don't know, our school's every window had blinds for like security reasons. So that's why I'm kind of going crazy with the blinds. Oops, wrong spot. I made it to calc two, so if it's math, all still probably only a maybe. Spelling and math. The math is so simple for him, I feel stupid. Is it because they're doing that new math system? I get it, I do, but I also feel like it's no more, I feel like it's almost more work because they're doing like fancy lines and shit. But it's supposed to be better for them visually, apparently. Who is biologically mine chooses to study advanced stuff so he can be an engineer. Right now he's doing fractions. He's seven! Seven year old doing fractions? We love to see it. I didn't start doing fractions till third grade, I think. And we had to do the stupid, um. Oh god, the stupid, like, uh. It's like the timed, and you had to see how many you could get done within a certain time frame. What would you call that? Do you know what I'm talking about? We had to do that for addition, subtraction, and multiplication division. And they were always shuffled, so it's not like you could remember the answer. Drill! We had to do these drills. And it was like, you get like one minute or something. Something ridiculous, like one or two minutes. We also had reading drills where you had to read as fast as you could. Well, it wasn't as fast as you could. It was as fast as you could for Rayleigh because I was a fast reader. But it was like... Okay, I don't math! Uh, Lisana, we're gay, we can't do math. That was one of the first things that my <laughs> that my field school people heard me say. We were in the van. I, it was very clear to me that Lordy, go nap time, silly goose. Go sweep, sweep. Uh, it was very clear that my roommates were gay. Well, one insists she's not gay, but she'll. She will be. Um, she wears car hearts for Christ's sake. Um, 
and is lusting over this idiot man. And I just feel like that's... Anyway. Uh, it was very clear to me that they were gay, and I wanted to establish that I was gay without it, like, being weird. Although I guess you could argue it was weird in the end. Um, but anyway... I can't remember what she was talking about. She was talking about, like, being mad, bad at math or whatever. Um, and so I, I turned around and I was like, well, you're gay, right? I think I said queer. Well, you're queer, right? The whole van goes silent. And they were like, yeah. And I was like, well, we can't be expected to do math. We're too pretty. We can't also do math. And I was like emphasizing the we, and you could like hear the tension lift in the van. <laughs> However, the girl who hated me had already decided she hated me before I said that. So we can't blame that. I remember when I joined the call during a Stardew stream and someone in chat was like, wait, you're not gay? I'm good at math. The signs were there. <laughs> My kid wants to be a solar power engineer, so whatever that entails. I love that so much. I hope he does. Oh, I kind of want to have like, like, so you can put like photos of the school if you want. Would it stay? I don't know if it would stay or not. But like, to be like, look at our school. Queer people can do math too. No, we can't. You're just an outlier. There are always exceptions. No, okay, hold on, I take it back. We can't be expected to be good at math. We shouldn't be expected to be good. Some of us can, but we shouldn't be expected to be able to. You're the exception, not the rule. And we love you anyway. <sighs> we get very, like, specific. Is this too loud for you? Let me know. I feel like... Math isn't hard. Sit down, Seneca! Oh, here we can do like I don't want to hear it from you fancy oh you can't hear the music Well, I'm fine with that, to be honest. Um, I wanted to put like sport. You can hear the music. Is it loud? I can hear the music. I can't remember the words. Oh my god. Mechanical or electrical engineering degree. Honestly, that would open up so many different job types for him. It'd be incredible. And he might be able to do some of that at a trade school to keep price down. Cost down. <laughs> I love that that's my thought.
Dus hij is snoezen. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm spending a lot more time on this than I predicted, but also it makes sense because it's a fucking high school. It's a big lot. Do you guys have the store Big Lots? We went there so much when I was a kid. Oh, filing cabinets. You'll be using this uh, build for 10 generations. Okay. Well, I kind of love that because that means I can like change it over time too. The fuck is Big Lots? It's like a discount store. Um, so, and it like had everything. It had food, it had like home goods. It's where I got my dollhouse that I had. It was like a dollhouse and a bookshelf. Which was really cool, so you could like, if your kid aged out of dolls. And it had like movable walls so you could change the size. Yeah, it's like a cheaper, cheap department store. I loved it. I don't know why. I loved going to Walmart and they had such weird, or not Walmart, I loved going to Big Oz. They had such weird snacks. They still have them. The one I grew up to, uh, grew up in, grew up with, closed when I was like still a teenager. However, I live in the Seattle area and they're trying to be as bougie as possible. So like all the discount stuff is disappearing. I'm really upset about it. The Plato's Closet, which is this used clothing store. I assume it was because of COVID, but the closest one closed and the nearest one's like an hour away. And respectfully, I'm not gonna drive an hour away for you to give me $2 for designer jeans. I don't have designer jeans, but still. To buy stuff in person. You know, when I was in Ireland, I expected it to be like, I don't know, like less spread out, I guess. But there were like four grocery stores within walking distance. Oh, I like this. Like you can turn in your report outside of class time if you're done. Like if you're done early. Isn't that cute? Zikikado. Big Lots in New York used to be big uh used to be the cheaper Walmart in terms of prices, but not so much anymore. Everything is pricing up. It's so annoying. <laughs> so frustrating. Should we talk about something else before we cry? I like that reception's desk is nicer than the principal's. I love this desk. I don't use it often enough. I'm assuming she would have the exact same desk. And it's always a she. This is who you would go to if you're like late to school or if you need to deal with paperwork. And because it's like a small school, I'm giving them a small admin. There was one time I went into administration and I needed to go to the nurse, which was connected to the admin building, not office, not building. Um, should I do more to this or should I just leave this like a kind of empty locker space? I don't really know what I would do with it. And like this is a natural pathway, so it's not like you could put anything in the middle and then you've got a pathway here. Okay, we'll just leave it. I'm just used to the Sims filling in space. Okay, 
upstairs. I might actually leave empty because you're right. This is for 10 generations and I feel like over time I'm going to want different things available. But that's the thing is that would like conflict with the natural pathways. I was thinking of putting like a hangout place here. Uh, and then we could put the vending machines nearby. It's a very small room for the science. Maybe we'll move this over time. Okay, but they need to have like a tile floor because it needs to be easy to clean. And it's depressing that it's white paint. So let's give her some color. Oops. Although I don't like that it's on the door. So put it on this wall. And this wall. And then put a plant. I'm starting to get like lazy. But again, 10 generations. So. I don't know, this just doesn't feel like a good plant for this room. I love this plant, but I hate that it peeks out through the wall. I die for the day that they figure out how to stop that. Or, I mean, they probably won't. A girl can dream. Everyone quick. Bree's on her way home. Hide. She's home early. I might take a break when she gets home because she might have some tea. It's work tea though, so I can't tell you. I'm sorry. Let's just say that they have had drama that nicely distracts them from the rest of the world. <laughs> but I like that. Which I think everyone needs. I think everyone needs a bit of a distraction. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Okay, I want to put the science posters here. Andy's coming level stuff. Yeah, exactly. You get it. Okay, but I also want the one that's like about safety. Where's that one? Oh, that's good. That's good. We'll use this. That's good. That's like science E. Uh, and then this one. a big enough room <laughs> this needs to be one of the bigger rooms I want it in this room because it's close to this stuff if you're wondering yes I am considering expanding the size of the entire school one tile just to fit this better Who's gonna know? Who's gonna know? They're gonna know. Who's gonna know? No one's gonna know. <clears throat> As you were? You need a science shower. Did they not give a base game standalone shower? I feel like they should at this point. 
By the end of it, we'll have a mod expanding the lot size. Hey, I've been really good about keeping this the size of this school small. My kids are overly obsessed with the Waffle House. I swear, every other meal is Waffle House. I've never been to a Waffle House, but I know that the Jonas Brothers like the Waffle House, apparently. Okay, wait. We're gonna do like more obvious tile for this room, honestly, I think. It's not bad. I can only take so many waffles. Is it like mostly just waffles? I've never been. Oh my God, they have an orange tile. It's destiny. I'm gonna steal the counters from downstairs. The science room is turning into a lot. I might get rid of this blue wall. There we go. I don't know where the nearest one is for me. Can someone Google Waffle House Seattle? Then we can do this without you stealing my data, my data, my, you know, intruding my privacy or whatever, which apparently is important. No bar uh, breakfast stuff. They have dinner, but who goes to a breakfast place for dinner food? Honestly, sometimes me. I love IHOP. IHOP is my Waffle House, I think. I don't know. I don't know Seattle's. I mean, I guess I could have changed classrooms. It's still not to the level I want, but again, 10 generations. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. you need two whiteboards but they only use one Fort Collins I don't even know where Fort Collins is My God, wait, no, wait. Oh, wait, it's in Colorado. Oh my God, that's so funny. Fort Collins sounds like a gin based cocktail. That's so funny. You can also tell how I, I can't tell measurements cause you're like, it's 1K away from you. And I'm like, yeah, and <laughs> the fuck does that mean? Again, the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Crazy mix of units. I can't wait to learn how to drive. I can't wait to be a person on the road. South of Wyoming, five hours north of Denver. I've been to Denver. That's where JJ was born. Well, I like to think of her being in Florida as her being in the womb. And then when we, when I got her in Denver, I like to think of that as her birth. Oh, 
Again, I don't understand why they need two whiteboards when you said they like pick one room. Also, yeah, hi, Zill. I could not tell you how far a mile is. No fucking clue. Nah, nothing. Nothing in these brains. Hi, Sarah. True Americans measure distance and how long it takes to get there. Exactly. And for different states, that measurement is, the perspective is different. Because for me in Seattle, half an hour, 45 minutes, that's not that long of a trip. <laughs> It's three or four hours to get to Portland. That's a long trip. It's an hour or two to get to Bellingham. That's like a day trip. But it's also 45 minutes to get into Seattle. So work that out. There's always two classrooms. Give you some credit since you don't drive. Bellingham, the footballer? Sure. No, the hippie college town that like once people move there, good luck ever talking to them like a normal person again. They get like converted. It's like a cult. I sound like I'm being dramatic. I'm really not. My friends went to Bellingham and I never, I didn't know them anymore. I don't think it can sit back that far. You need to scoot in. I'm starting to understand some of my teacher's seating arrangements. I drive everywhere, so no distance is too far driving. A year without road trips. I'm only driving one to a year. American seat time. The GPS says we'll arrive has a challenge. Everything else is shock. You really don't, Zill. You really don't. But I did do a cross-country um, road trip. When I was a kid, we did it from Washington State to Washington, D.C. It was fun. You got to see a lot of stuff. But it, yeah, it's also seeing nothing. Just because... Like, each state is its own culture, which I think is really hard for uh, non-Americans to understand. Is it's like, genuinely, each state is their own country. They have their own dialects. They have their own, like, formalities. They have their own... Like, they're similar franchises. They're similar, you know, laws. But like it's 50 different countries on one continent. And what I find interesting is I feel like I feel and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like non-Americans don't lump Africa as a continent altogether. They like understand those are different countries. But for some reason, America is all one thing. And there can be like two towns next to each other that are different. Like significantly different. Oh, it's just something I think about. 
I feel like you guys do it to Canada too. We do it to Canada. We lump Canada as one big thing. In Africa, we lump, uh, not Africa, Australia. It being illegal to pump your own gas in New Jersey was wild to me. Um, when I was a kid, my mom and I did multiple road trips down to California, driving down the coast. Uh, one of my friends temporarily lived in LA and she could do the trip in one day if she didn't sleep, which is dangerous. USA has one leader where Africa is didn't, does not. Yeah, Lisana, that's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem. US is wild to me, not gonna lie. Me too, girl, me too. I would say the states share too much to be compared to the different countries in Africa. This is like I yeah. I really don't wanna get into politics. So like, let's keep it as vague as it is right now and not go into specifics. But like, yeah, the one leader situation is the problem. Ellie, it was built to not function. Like they did it on purpose. And then they lie to us. Uh, Breeze Holmes, let's take a quick break. Uh, I'm gonna put on words on stream for y'all. Uh, and I'm gonna go potty. I'm gonna save this game first. I'm gonna put it on auto. Let us mourn. Uh, autopilot. Is it working? Oh. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Okay, <laughs> be right back.
Gotta love the sponsored by EA. This one's hard. Mm. I wish it told you at the end. I don't, I'm sorry for the all caps. <clears throat> Oh, I wasn't ready. Someone do note. No, you didn't do it. Oh, all right. Fine. Well, there's not enough ease. No, you got that one already. Ooh, pop it's good. You try pop it again? Maybe you were locked. Oh, wait. Not enough peas. Just kidding. Come on, we need one more. Oh, you did pent already. Uh, nice, there we go. Good, good, good. Yeah, I wanna know what the big ones are. They should at least tell you what the one that uses all the letters is. Like how my hair's just gotten disheveled over time. Oh my god, hi mom! We'll go back to the Sims in a second. I want to play one more round with you. Oh, I actually wasn't clicked in. No, oh, okay, just, just kidding. Why is Sale not one? Sale should be one. It's right there. Oh, fake letter. I think it's the S or the A. It's the A or the S. No, oh, okay, it's the S. The S is the fake letter. Is this a word? I don't know. Well, we need like two more. Oh my God, I can't type. There we go. I lied, we're going till we lose.
Who the fuck is Carl? Nicely done, you guys. Yeah, no, that should not have worked. Props to Ellie. Good job. Two stars, this is good. Oh, you guys have mild lag. Sorry about that. Get the lock off for Christ's sake. Do we figure out what the fake letter is? Oh, it's a V. Nice! Oh my god! So good, guys. I'm so proud of you. It's something that starts with something after. Oops. Uh. <gasps> you guys. You guys. We went from level 9 to level 12. We got all of them. I'm so proud of you. We're going till we lose. Oh. I hate the locks. I was ready. I was ready to go. You think N is fake? At least one more, y'all. I'm so proud of you. You're doing so good. Oh, there's no E. Oh, frat. Good one. Zero, did we change the uh, category? At least temporarily. Okay, the mysterious letter is not T.
Does anyone else feel like it's not working? Oh, whoops. Is there also a fake letter? Wait, there's also a fake letter. Guys, I don't think we're gonna make this one. so proud of you that was so good that was so good of course it's right after i just changed our category so whoops sorry to anyone who popped in for that yeah, anyone else does his brain hurt with that oh man more than the sims i think damn that is some serious this this is serious serious this classroom i like to think is like seneca's classroom where the teachers just trade it back and forth so that no one has a personal desk they just have a table where they can set things down I don't hate this. <laughs> mm hmm. Sure. I believe you. <clears throat> I think it's healthy to hate The Sims. I think we need to to love it. Yeah, and it felt like. Yeah, no, I'm with you, Ellie. And there were some that I feel like should have worked anyway. That didn't. I just find it boring to watch. I don't you're Rosie's mod you hang out with me how can you say that that's a bold statement my friend as a bold statement I'm messing with you. I assume you're one of the people who just likes to like have background noise and that's valid. Even if it goes against my personal culture. <clears throat> what are the curtains I use downstairs? I use like yellow curtains downstairs. These ones. Okay. Can I use them here? No, you're too big. Ayo. Did we get a smaller version of this? I bet you we didn't. 
Oh, no, we did. We did. Positivity, Rayleigh, pays off. Don't be such a, a negative Nancy. Although, what Nancy did to deserve being the person to do the... I'm over the bit. I'm over it. <clears throat> over bit? No. No, I don't like that one. Oh, we could do like a school rug. That's kind of cute. Wait, that's kind of cute. So like this is what you walk into. And then we can put this in the center. And then I feel less weird about all of this open space. And this is like, hi, welcome to our school. Walk on my face. Hello. I've never looked at all the swatches for this. Apparently that's the only school option, so we're just gonna go with it. <clears throat> I messed my throat up somehow. And I'm not entirely sure what I did. Oh, I haven't looked at the crystal stuff. Oh, that's so pretty. You sit down and do that. Where is the love tonight? There we go. And couches. Again, I'm trying to keep it like pack limited. Or should we put like a pool table up here? Maybe we should have like different sections instead of what I wanted to do, which is one big section. Have multiple that do different vibes. And these are, we'll keep them, we'll make them black. No, we're, we're gonna make them white. And we can just take the wall color if I feel weird about it. Okay, and then they can hang out there. <clears throat> this is not how it goes. You judge me after that nonsense about not liking sim streams? Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. <clears throat> okay. Awkward? Okay. It was just this year I learned that was Hans Zimmer. I have no idea what you're talking about. So uh, it's today that I'm learning it's Hans Zimmer. Who's Hans Zimmer? <laughs> Okay, wait, I wanted, oh. I was hoping this would narrow down. This is not narrowed down. Whole ping pong seems a little ridiculous, but we can do this. Music for the Lion King. And, What are you referring to when you say when I learned, I learned that was? Are you talking about the, the emoji face? I feel like I'm missing half your sentences. I miss like, a, I feel like I'm missing half of what you're saying. I was singing the Lion King?
Yeah, no, I knew that. The other week it was High School Musical 2. With the wrong lyrics, might I add. Oh, that's what you were saying. That's not how it goes. You have got to supply more context, y'all. I have no idea what you're talking about. When I say I black out while I'm streaming, what do you think that means? What do you think that means? <laughs> do you think that means I'm paying attention? No! <laughs> I was singing the Lion <laughs> Thank you for the follow, the fat turkey. Not my fault, you were seeing it two seconds ago. And I was blacked out. Again, not listening. I'm gonna put yoga mats out in the lawn. Is that cute? I think that's cute. You guys have got to stop distracting me. I, I need to get this done. This is actually a lot that I need to use. So like the girly pops can, where's the one that has like fun designs? Oh, okay. It's the one that looks like it won't have fun designs. See, like I want pizza. Oh, no, okay, keep it. Uh, how you doing, turkey? Turk, turk. Don't know why that came out of my mouth. You just gotta embrace it sometimes. I don't know. I'm hoping that these all kind of face the same direction. So potentially, theoretically, at some point, it can look like they're all working out together. Whether or not that will actually happen is up to the Sims, which is kind of cool. It's kind of like when you have a hamster and you give them toys and you just kind of like let them figure it out. See what happens, see if they want it or not. Sims are basically hamsters. I'm doing great. Doing as good as one could be doing. I don't know why I went with such a pink theme, but here we are. Um, what else can we put near here? Random junk. Okay, hold on. Page down. Put like a yoga mat in front of someone's locker. Oh wait, that's one of the real lockers. Put like a yoga mat in front of someone's locker. Or let's see what else. Put the notes. Everyday clutter is the best kit and you can't change my mind. And if you don't have it, you're really missing out. Better than the castle kit? Yeah. A hundred percent. It's so good. That's a great kit. I won't deny. But the fact that I can just have a cell phone. Or just like a pair of glasses. Just like random individual things. Fantastic. the miscellaneous things we got towels got random shower crap and it's like gross and out of the way so you can't reach it and maybe there's like gross towels that people left behind ew disgusting 
I don't know why they made these the size that they are. It is such an unrealistic size. I cannot even begin. Um, we can have soap. I mean, we had soap before. That's not new. What else does the school need? I don't like doing the light switches because I think that's just unnecessary to do ones that aren't like just use the base game ones. You don't need to use those. Okay, I don't oh chess things. It's a library. Chess stuff. Maybe this is like an art classroom. Like a computer art classroom. They like left their stuff maybe. I don't know. It's not my business. And like someone in here accidentally left their makeup. It sucks for them. It's totally going to get stolen. And then, like, it's great because, it, you know, the admin looks a little bit more on purpose. Instead of just being this random desk. Um, anything else? Oh, there's, see, there's these random books. Although, we do have base game random books, so it's not that special. But, you just throw these all over the place, you know? You have one now. And now you have one. Oh, that's right. I was going to put like a little table here. You guys distracted me. Shocked. That's better than bad. Yeah, turkey. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get into it on another stream when it's not fresh. Um, what tables were I, were I, were, were I using? What table was I, I was using this one, like the weird, maybe instead of couches, I do the chairs again. And then I can have the weird tables with clutter on them. Not much clutter, some movable clutter, some not movable. I think that's good. Good, a good choice. Good job, Rayleigh. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm an archaeologist. I studied in Ireland. And one of my favorite things was how they integrated ruins into their modern buildings. So that's the idea behind this high school is that this was the best location for a high school. But there was. I'm tired, so I'm not going to get into the full history of what this wall is. It's a bond. Um, you're Irish. Hi, I studied in Galway. I fell in love with the country. Um, Irish in Ireland or Irish and uh, unfortunately not in the homeland. Anyway, so it's a high school and it's got this wall and it's like integrated is the idea. So it's a <laughs> it's a building style I'm not used to. I don't normally do like modern-ish, sleek type, low clutter. Like this is not, this is totally out of my comfort zone. So I'm doing my best. You're in Carrie. So I was there for six weeks. Uh, I'm gonna try to come back next year. Uh, we drove around like all over Southern Ireland, but um, we just went to random castles and churches. So we didn't actually get to like see what towns we were in. So who knows, maybe I was there. I don't know. Uh, uh, but yeah, 
I was working on a castle archaeology site. I probably <laughs> waved to you as you passed. Stop, that's so cute. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now and jealous. I love your country. And not in a like American, like, oh my god, I'm obsessed with the Irish. I love Ireland. I'm gonna move here. No, like in a like a genuine, like I like your regulations on your infrastructure. <laughs> You're also Irish. Your high school actually had a castle on the grounds and your art class was in the tower. Wait, wait. <laughs> this is my dream. Sorry. Um. Uh, if it's an invasion, it's my favorite. Thank you for gifting us up to needy. That's really nice. Thank you for gifting us up to Sharky. That's really nice. Um, I want your opinion. Since you are people who live among Irish ruins. And please be brutally honest. Wait for it. It takes a minute. Sekikado's like, keep them. Keep the Irish. You cannot leave. Um. Oops. Do you feel I've done a ruined tower house justice? I tried. It was inspired by the one that I studied. But. Thank you. You're allowed to not like it. I have to keep Rayleigh on her toes. Anyway, I really fell in love with your country and its history and your infrastructure and your politics. <laughs> I can feel your stress right here. Please breathe. It's not stress. It's excitement. I cried the whole week. I got home. Like the entire week I got home, I just sobbed every day. It also was the archaeology part, not just you guys, but like the archaeology part. Literally every Irish person I met was fantastic, except for two. We were in a pub and it was not one of the touristy pubs. And there was two guys in the corner talking about how much they love Trump. We're not going to connect that to current politics, but like it is important. When they turned to leave, they saw like a cluster of us sitting and there was like three or four girls, non-binary and then like four guys. And as he was leaving, he was this like old boomer guy. He turns to the guys and he's like, you're so lucky you found so many roses in a world full of thorns. It took everything in my heart not to pull out my like ring and be like, thanks, my wife thinks so too. Everyone else was chill about me being gay, but that man, I have a feeling, would not have been great. Uh, yeah, I just wanna like really drive home and like, maybe I am one of the cringy American fans or whatever, but like, I genuinely love your country and I'm trying to come back next summer to continue archaeology. So it also was one of the first places I felt safe walking home in the dark at night. Um, I mean, we I was still on the phone the whole time to like make sure. And I also yelled at boys out my window because I knew they didn't have a gun. <laughs> I would have never done that in America. I'd have, I'd have gagged. I did. I gagged into my cider. I did. I'm 
also a whiskey person too, so I appreciated how many whiskey tasting opportunities I had. Anyway, uh, my two of my chatters are writing me a Sims challenge. I'm hoping you guys are simmers as well. I assume they're writing a Sims challenge that basically starts out in the countryside of Ireland and then like migrates. Fortunately, you get people like that everywhere. Yeah. The only thing, the only like culture shock I had was the cigarettes. Uh, because America has such strict smoking rules. And I just feel like in general, people move to vapes. So it was wild to me to see and smell so many cigarettes. That was like the only thing that felt disorienting. Anyway, I like your country. Congratulations. I wish it was mutual. You know, in the in verse. I'm just going to cry myself to sleep tonight. It's fine. Welcome in. I talk about things other than Ireland, I promise. Well, I talk about it in terms of archaeology that's different. And I relate it to other people. Don't be difficult. Okay, we have to delete this, unfortunately. I loved the idea of having a student store, but there's just like nowhere to put it. Um, and I kind of like that this is all in I thought about doing a student garden. I might wait because I'm assuming that there is going to be a generation that's like about gardening. Uh, I wanted to get the basketball. Where have you been in uh, America? Out of curiosity. I'm in Washington State, which is not Washington, D.C. It's on the other side. Just, I, li I like to remind people of that. Oops. more just like lots of basketballs they're gonna go nuts maybe i don't know they also might not care i think like the only major sport we're missing now from an american perspective is baseball okay is there anything you feel i'm missing entry we did admin building san diego la Philly, New Jersey, New York, Boston, and Chicago. That is quite the spread. I love that for you. I'm sorry you had to go to LA. <laughs> sorry, I hate LA. I hate LA so much. My family's from California, and so I inherited some of our strong opinions on the cities. But mostly the reason I hate LA is the cars and the driving. We were like on a busy freeway interstate whatever four lanes packed full and someone decided to drive not a motorcycle a car in the shoulder to skip past people i came close to, te <laughs> to tears really having strong opinions first of all you're not wrong I was only in LA to get on a cruise with friends from Twitch. So I wasn't there long. Oh, congrats. Like, that's good. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I don't wish LA on anyone. And you know what's funny is 17 year old Ray Lee was doing everything she could to try to get to LA. Like, that was her thing. My life would be so different. Okay, we have two empty rooms available to do whatever. 
I'm going to get rid of the board in that room. We have this room that because it requires two boards, even though you use one room, that doesn't make sense to me. Ireland is your new LA. No, like, I don't think you understand. <laughs> <clears throat> I also did not appreciate not having a dishwasher or laundry dryer in-house, but I was also in student housing and I imagine that it could be different, but I know the dishwasher thing is come and go, touch and go. You have two classrooms, classroom one is used by your sim, classroom two is used by NPCs. Okay. I'm just going to delete these doors for now so they don't go in there. And we'll just take the lights as well. And that's good. It'll keep them away from these half walls. Whoops. I understand now. Thank you for explaining. I'm so sorry. I'll find out soon. I have both. I'm not living without either. It was awful. It was absolutely awful. You know, I brag about your country all the time. I'm an architectural archaeologist. And so I'm like really passionate about your infrastructure laws <laughs> and regulations. <laughs> and honestly, that's that's the thing I talk about most when I talk about Ireland. Should we do yellow? No, I kind of liked the other one. I liked the other one. Okay, so am I done? Am I done? Not to brag, but am I done? Oh my god, should we put challenges? Or no, traits. There you go. And good school. And... Science. That works out good. I think that's good. Should we do a lot challenge? I'm glad. Uh, what's the challenge name, Lizana? Pack it up. future tears today no it thank you it makes me happy um one of my friends he's an american who lives in ireland one of uh, he popped in like last week and i got emotional again but that's fine i'm not gonna do a fancy description okay i'm kind of so many so many bathrooms no, okay, hold on. I'll do other. Okay, JJ, what are you doing? Do you mind? Oh, I didn't do pack it up challenge. I just did pack it up. I can redo it, I think. Okay, I can redo it. No, I, I can redo it. I redo it. Oh. It doesn't like something about that. It doesn't like challenge. It doesn't like challenge. Oh yeah, I got to meet Lisana in Galway and also one of my other viewers still. Feels weird to call them viewers at this point. I just did pack it up because it didn't like the word challenge for some reason. 
Are we not allowed to have challenges? That seems really dumb to me. I school with a castle in game two based on my own school. I'm looking forward to checking yours out in game. Stop! You're being nice to me. Thank you. I hope you like it. Uh. Oh, nope. That's not how this works. There you go. In case you need it. Uh, this is the little graveyard I did for the challenge. Based off to the based off the little chapel ruins we went to, but I forgot to actually build the chapel. <laughs> So, um, Oop. almost spilled that. Okay, I already put in challenges and stuff, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Cass wanted that uploaded. I'll upload the tower house itself. If you come back to America again, you need to come to Seattle. I'm not biased. But. Oh shit, I forgot to mail out those Halloween cards. God damn it, I even wrote on the back. I even wrote them. Oh my god. <sighs> Oops. Okay, this doesn't look as cute in the picture. Also, it shouldn't have been Kelly, but if anything, this one should be Packet Up Kelly. empty stomach uh, I went to Tipperary according to my director uh, kill Connell this one just says Ireland parentheses country kill Kenny Castle I was in love with and fun fact I had just gotten COVID for the very first time in my life. There you go. I'm doing merch based off Ireland. You know, if I started watching NFL, the team I support, <gasps> Seahawks, you support the Seahawks? Oh my God, stop. Uh. Later that week, I would get bullied by a bunch of 19 year olds. I'm 29. I wish I'd like wrote down where these were. Good job, Braley. At the time I did it so like y'all couldn't stalk me, but then I didn't think long term. Oh, this is one of my favorite graveyards I went to. I meant to post that to the Discord. For you and Cass. Anyway. Yeah, I'm a big fan, big fan. Oh, we went to Bun Ratty. I call it medieval Disneyland. Um, is 
that how you spell the Kelly? Pretty sure it's just a Y. There we go. Oh wait, it would be. Okay. Um What other hashtags should I do? I think I'll just leave it at that. <sighs> okay. Back to the list. Okay, we've done a castle, we did a graveyard, we did a boarding school. Now we need a jungle hut, which is a completely different run. If I pass any castle, I put it in your Discord. Oh my god, Turkey, please. Please. I still haven't decided what exactly about Eastern Europe, no, Western Europe architecture, medieval architecture. I still haven't determined the more, the like more finite details other than like architecture, <laughs> medieval. Like you need more than that. But I was really interested in. like how the buildings are being reused and restored. Like the one we were studying was in the middle of a cow pasture. And so we have to like, f everything we dig, we have to fill it back up at the end because the cows need to be able to use that land. And the government doesn't consider it a good enough plot for whatchamadoodle. You know, <laughs> to like take care of, to preserve. Oh my God. And okay, now I have to change my title. So anyone who came here for a castle. Nope. I'm oh, so sorry. It's jungle hat time. Thank you, Turkey. I am on 500 different medications and all of them uh, contribute to brain fog. Oh, this is Ziggy. Cause she's got a little zig right there. She is the, the scar from a tumor I had in my hand named Dolores, but I couldn't call it Dolores anymore cause Dolores moved out. So now we have Ziggy in the jungle. Now we need the jungle people to come in. Ah, yes. I was like, what do you mean? Okay. I kind of want to just keep the plants and get rid of the building just to like, you know, cheat it a little bit. You know what? I'm really mad <laughs> because I have, I have a jungle hut that would be perfect for this that I've already built but it's in my other computer. You have one down your neck? Oh my God, I love twinning. Ugh, you are just making my day. Thank God. Can you please just, yeah, okay. And we just, why? Yeah, there is something to leave. I see it. Don't lie to me. Fucking liar. Um, yeah, so, uh, Lisana and two others are making a Sims challenge for me because I don't do gameplay ever. 
Uh, but I am an EA partner, and I do feel like I should probably know as much as I can about the product I'm advertising. <laughs> so I'm building, they made a challenge that's built around building. But to prep, I need builds. <laughs> so that is what we're doing. To anyone curious, I know we keep mentioning a build or a challenge, so that's what that is. Oh my god, stop. You guys are being way too nice to each other today. It's very cute. Right, yes, and based on gameplay of packs that have been released since COVID. Because I started streaming it in COVID, and I wouldn't play much offline. But I used to play, I used to play the pack. Like, I've played through Jungle Adventure. I've played through Strangerville. I loved Strangerville. I'm sad that a lot of people didn't like it. I loved it. It reminded me of the uh, Sim Story packs where you like had to follow along. The only thing I didn't like about those is, um, it wouldn't integrate with your installed packs. Best pandemic challenge, but learning cast wouldn't let me. The PPC. I don't know, PPC is kind of a great challenge name. <sighs> but yeah, it's not very marketable, is it? the rest of the sims community i really do think that like this could be a thing so like not to freak you out but pack it up is definitely friendlier like katie did the whimsy stories and it went everywhere all right jungle hut can I make it a tree house? Okay. This is not a great lot for it that I chose, but also our options are limited. Oops. This one seems more surrounded. I'm overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. It's the best gameplay lot because you don't have to travel. No, I agree. This side of the waterfall is the best. 100%. Okay, no, I didn't want that, and I don't want this. Okay, we'll just add to jungle more. I'm just trying to figure out how nice of a hut we're talking. How long am I in this, this hut? I have free reign of the rules! Oh, no. Oh no, she's gone rogue. You have to master the archeology span skill and relic collection. Oh, so we're here for a long time. I support it. Okay. Then I want to leave space for a garden because I think that'd be really cute. And we need space for do science. But also treehouse. But also want stilt. You might have to bring a child and pets. Oh God. Ew.
children. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can limit myself. Just base game and just jungle. Nope. Jungle adventure. Nope. I already know that's not what I want. Because I need wooden poles. Eco lifestyle? No. Island. Wait, island living? It's decorated and that feels like cultural appropriation. I want just like wooden horse ranch. There we go. Horse ranch. Thank you. Well, and then in the last year, I haven't been able to play because I've been a drama llama. We're doing fake stilts. Well, maybe fake stilts is the wrong word for it. I, uh, I want a treehouse really bad. Really bad, but I also feel like a cute tiny hut with a little garden but i want it in a tree house we'll do a lofted house i think that's a good compromise a still a stilt house and i want it to feel like a little tiny itty bitty These are not worn enough, but you will do. Okay, we need a little patio. Teeny weeny. Actually, I downloaded this. <laughs> oh no, I do still have it. I downloaded this like crossword puzzle app. Um. And one of the words was teeny. <laughs> and the hint was weenie. <laughs> and that made me giggle because I am a five-year-old. I wish you would do what I said and do like that. No, I don't like that. I don't like the curve. What am I doing there? No, I don't like that. Oh, dang it. I used the eyedropper. Okay, fine. Then we'll go like this and you can die. I'm <laughs> also a five year old then. <laughs> 18 and up. <laughs> Except for the five year olds. I want you. You, and you, and nothing but you. Miles and miles of you. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're old as shit. Oh my God. I love my wife with all my heart but <laughs> every time it kills me um she does not understand my sense of humor at all um so we were having a bit of an argument and humor came up <laughs> for a stupid reason and she was like you never laugh at my jokes and i was like okay i laugh at your jokes all the time and you don't laugh at mine. And she was like, really, you're not funny. And I was like, your friends think I'm funny. Stream thinks I'm funny. And she was like, when I came over, when you were talking to George, you were, you were insulting him about his age. That 
the man's like 32, 33. And so the conversation that she only partially overheard was me saying, damn, you're old now. And him going, yeah. And then me going, you got bad knees just like me. Like it was, it was one of her friends that I had just met. <laughs> But, like, it was very clearly banter, and she just didn't get it. She thought it was mean. I love her. But the fact that that was one of her examples about how I'm not funny killed me if like we hadn't had to finish the conversation right there i would have started howling <laughs> oh man no he and i got along really well we hit it off really well um and i hit it off with his wife she was adorable i'm trying to get her to stream um, she's always wanted to, but she's been too shy, which I just think is so endearing. And I think a lot of the best streamers start out that way. Um, I don't want the kitchen there. Um, I can call you elderly and you won't be mad. No, I am elderly. All I want to do is sit in my bed. <laughs> I play crossword puzzles. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um. Anyway, he and I were bonding over archaeology because, and also autism. <laughs> and at one point, so he was asking me archaeology questions and I was like, look, what you asked is a complicated question. And I'm autistic, so once I start talking, I won't stop. So how much information do you want? And he was like, I'm also autistic. And I love the idea that I don't have to worry about responding, that you will just talk. And I said, okay, let's go. And we just like, I think I was like an hour or so. <laughs> Remember when being sent to bed was a punishment? Send me to bed anytime now. <laughs> anytime. You're really pissed. All right, I'll go to bed. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. I'm using a lot of island living for this, and I do feel kind of bad about it. But I just feel like so much of it, so much of it is perfect for this. I want to have this one just like completely open, but it's like a closed in porch. Does that make sense? I don't want it to be large. That's what she said. But it's. I mean, apparently it has to fit a child. So to the zoo, I was standing next to a zookeeper and he was talking nonstop, but he was so passionate about the monkeys. I felt really bad for leaving, but I also wanted to listen to him for 30 minutes. I had just listened to him for 30 minutes and it was getting cold. Yeah, that's one thing I really love about... Like, I could tell he was probably autistic. It's also a bunch of tech people. Like, the chances of being t autistic is, is very high. Um, like, incredibly high. <laughs> Disturbingly high. And I could tell that he was... He had a little bit of autism. And so it was so nice to be like, hey, I'm going to talk a lot. So please don't interrupt. <laughs> Basically, I was like, please do not feel like you need to think of something to say in exchange. And he was like, thank God. Like that directness. And I don't know, maybe he was just being polite or maybe I genuinely like relieved some stress. I don't know. To be honest, I kind of don't care. 
it was just nice to be in a position to be like, look. Because we do that in streams sometimes where I just talk and like you might say something, but I ignore you. <laughs> Until I'm ready to stop. And then I, you know, I look at you again and I answer questions. So it was kind of like that. It was like, how much do you want? You know how normal conversations have ebbs and flows? This was all flows. Yeah, that's what I was basically saying. It's like, please don't ebb. Like, you don't feel you need to ebb. Just let me flow. I'm mentioning it. It's unrelated to stuff, but if it's still too close, I'll drop it. We had legalized sports betting on the ballot. It's 99.5% reported, but they still aren't calling it because it's a 3,000 vote difference right now. You had one? to legalize sports betting? That's a form of gambling. Three thousand is ridiculous for that for that size of population. I did not have sports betting on mine. That's what I mean. We're different fucking countries. Okay, we need lights. I can't see anything. Okay, we're gonna go based off vibes. And vibes alone. I don't have anyone. I did not play test that high school. So if you download the high school. Don't. Oh, should I be doing a lofted bed? Um, yes, you can. It snaps. Any of them snap. I love this bed. Can I just say? It's one of my favorite beds in the entire game. It's not used often enough. No, but this is good because I'm trying to, like, at least pretend that I'm making this as small as possible. Why don't you have a ceiling? I never told you to get rid of the ceiling. Kansas City of the Cheese has something to do with it. I feel like amendments are either the most controversial thing in the world or why is this on the ballot? I feel that. Ow! I forget that you are... What is that? M Mich Michigan? Illinois? Missouri? Yeah, that one. Is that the Chiefs? I thought the Machi- I th So when you say we, do you mean the country? Missouri? The Chiefs are your team? Illinois, more like <laughs> Illinois, am I right? We had to legalize liquor sales in city limits on our ballots. Oh, that's wild, Hercules. We, um, we legalized liquor sales I want to say in 2013, 2012, before we used to specifically have stores that you had to go buy them at. And now like anybody can sell it. Like, I swear to God, you can buy liquor at the 
like drugstore. Convenience store. That doesn't mean it's fast though. I had to wait half an hour for them to show up. Oh my God, I have to use, I have to use the trunks, obviously. How is there only one swatch? Oh, there's two swatches, okay. I want this bed because of the frame. I'm wondering if there are better. All right, well, we'll just leave it. The trunks are my favorite. The trunks are so good. Oops. I will probably stream for another half hour. I usually stop at four o'clock and it's four o'clock, which means Oh yeah, the Twitch time is off. Mine is 4.55. So it's been five hours. And then Lasana has to go to Betty Bye. <laughs> okay, wait, maybe we can do one of these. I never use these. Is there one for jungle adventure? There is not. I am in bed. I am envious. You should be in bed. Oh, this is kind of a vibe, isn't it? What is that from? Ravenwood? Very nice. Oh, I like that a lot. It's kind of the wrong color. It doesn't match the outer woods, but I'm kind of not paying attention to that. And it hasn't backfired yet. I keep forgetting you're on the other side of the country. Yeah, everyone has to stay up late for like the release of something and I get it at like nine o'clock. It's pretty great. You, yeah. Or like when the ball drops, we have like four or five more hours before our New Year's technically sets in. It's pretty funny. This wood kind of brings all the woods together. So that's good. Sometimes I forget y'all are over there too. We also had allow a new casino to go into the Lake of the Ozarks, which did not pass. Last major election, we had decreased restrictions on bingo collar training. We have a lot of gambling stuff here, I guess. Respectfully, you are the Northern Midwest. And just like the stereotype is that there's not much to do there. I'm just saying. Luan does a 25 hour stream on New Year's to celebrate all the New Year's for every time zone. It's a great party. That's so cute. I love that. I don't know why I've been drawn to this blue, but here we are. Uh, why did my stilts disappear? I'm trying to apply it to a Rome. Really, it should be brown or green, shouldn't it? Okay, now I'm doubting this color. That's wild that you have so many gambling... Uh, Whatchamadudas. <laughs> 
I'm doing great at the talking part. Okay. I do feel like this needs to be darker. Like it's a hut in the woods. You want it to you want it to hide. The flows are flowing. The flows flow if we're lucky. Sometimes the flows are nose. There's no flows. There's nose nose flows. And that's just how the wind blows. Apparently sometimes we prime. Ooh, down to the studs wall. That's cool looking. It's the stupid blue. Stop looking at the blue, Rayleigh. Stop looking at it. That's a dark blue. Look at the world around you. Where are you seeing blue? There's no blue. Idiot. Yeah, I am, actually. I'm an archaeologist. I'm uh, a rapper. I'm um, a trophy wife. Um, I'm um, unfortunately not the president. <sighs> Bow, now, now. Okay, I, it's brown. <laughs> But I think that's going to be okay. Okay, let's roof this baby. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, God. Okay, okay, we want this. Oh, please stop wiggling. Thanks. A streamer, a crafter, a simmer. A rapper. Oh dear. Oh, I thought you were tiny. I thought you were teeny weeny. You're not. <gasps> we could do a secret skylight. Okay, I really prefer the roofs to be at the same height, but I also can't be bothered to try to hide that. There you are. Ireland and the Lucius <laughs> cross border. I'm really good at those matching games on the on your phone or your iPad. That's pretty much <laughs> literally an hour before bed. I go through and I play like six different of those games before I go to sleep every day. Every single day. Although I guess you wouldn't want a window, would you? Because it's hella hot. It's the jungle. No, it is facing the right direction. Okay. Oops, you're not where you're meant to be, silly goose. Okay, we need windows on this side. I need to fix the railings at some point. They can't be blue. No blue, Rayleigh, no blue. Rayleigh, let you live your dreams. No. Dreams need restrictions. Ugh. You can't just go out willy-nilly and do whatever you want. Israeli demands state-sponsored voter IDs. Everyone get care packages with 
miscellaneous heavy stock paper, crimpers, washi tape, and stamps. What about it? <laughs> Why don't all the windows in the island living pack come in all the wood options that they offer in the island living pack? Lasana, do you have your... Thank you. I'm gonna be grateful for a minute. If you want to match swatches, which is already an unrealistic, you know, fantasy goal, it's not a real thing. It's not a thing in real life. It is significantly easier than it is in The Sims 1 or 2. And frankly, no one wants to admit it, but the color wheel in The Sims 3 sucked ass. But no one wants to admit that. Nothing in The Sims 1 matched. The reason I'm being anal about it right now is for regionalism. <laughs> Just an architectural term. Um, where the structure, the structure in color scheme matches its surroundings because it used region specific local materials. And so it blends in and matches its environment because it was made by the environment it's products. Which is why when people build these weird ass villas in the middle of the suburban neighborhood, it looks so fucking weird. Where'd you get that limestone, bruh? Where'd that come from? Hercules, I blacked out and I missed the opportunity to understand what your joke was. I apologize. <laughs> No takes these back seats though. Anyway, so I feel like if we're building a hut, it should reflect the environment it's being built in. Does it need to? No. Is it just a video game, Rayleigh? Yes. Am I gonna do it anyway? Do that one. Yeah, I'm not sure why you brought up the buttholes. I'm sure it might have been relevant to whatever you were talking about at the time. Why are there all of a sudden more options? I didn't scroll down. Right. Okay. Oh, fair Hercules. I <laughs> I talk so fast that half the time I don't know what I'm saying which is really a great way to conduct conversations with people. I don't know if they made it better because it's been a minute since I last played, but I think the worst color system was Destiny 2. You dyed your armor with shader swatches and those swatches showed four colors, one in each corner. Only the corners didn't match. Top left 
was only sometimes the primary color and they often include colors not in the swatch while not include a color the swatch showed. It's so like you click on it, but you're not actually clicking on the color you want. It does something else. And sometimes it's a color that you didn't even know was available. Am I understanding? That's infuriating. I mean, you know, it's not a perfect blend, but she's not obvious. I guess technically she should be the color of the rocks, but I'm pleased. <laughs> Random color generator. That's so generous of them. That's fun. You didn't like that. Okay, we need to save because that took too long to load and that makes me nervous. Oops, that was the wrong screen. Um, I'm probably going to finish this off stream. Tomorrow is Thursday. I think I'm going to do a tipsy Thursday stream, which means I stream a little bit later. I would start about two hours earlier from now. You want to adjust that to your time zone. We are going to be playing the newest Nancy Drew game, which came out like in the spring. We did not make it very far because we didn't. And by we, I mean me. I couldn't figure out how to finish the tutorial. Um. <laughs> Tips you're just drunk. It depends on how upset I get about the game because Rayleigh is a Nancy Drew enthusiast. In case you did not know, it is a series and franchise very close to my heart. I know a little bit too much about the politics of the company which publishes it. And so I have a lot of opinions on this game and the game before it because those games came after they came after they changed leadership fired their whole staff, changed their engine, and outsourced everything. Everything to three different companies. Turkey, for context, I think I streamed for four hours. Or at least, I think two hours of that was the Nancy Drew. Okay, so we, we put in two hours. And I don't know if the tutorial's over. It's a point and click game. <sighs> I'm already getting stressed. Anyway. I used to do Tipsy Thursdays all the time, and the past couple weeks we've been doing a lot of like Asbury throwbacks. Um, so that feels like a fun one to throw back, and also I want to finish that game. And the one before this was Midnight in Salem. It was a very good Halloween game. This does not seem to be a good Halloween game, but that was the idea is that we would play it for Halloween because that's what I've done for the past four years is, well, I guess the first year I did Phasmophobia, but ever since then I've done Nancy Drew. So. Okay. Um, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you, new friends. Thank you for letting me indulge about Ireland. I really appreciate it. I know that potentially could be annoying. Um, it is such a compliment that you chose to spend time with me. And I'm very grateful for any time that you spend with me. And I will see you the next time you come around. And once again, my anxiety is too much. We're not going to raid anybody. Oh, 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 Irish friends. This, this, this. This is part of a merch collection that may never come out, but it's it's art. It's it's a graphic based off of a fireplace from your home.
The green has nothing to do with you. I see how that looks a little obsessive. The green was because I wanted a good fall winter color. But I now see the combination looks a little bit. Don't worry, ignore that part. Thank you again, EA, for any and all of the packs that you gave to me for free, which is not nearly enough. Your personal home, not to be mistaken with your home country. No, it's it's from your it's from your home country. Looks like my fireplace. The green's not supposed to be about Ireland. <laughs> it's just a coincidence I didn't consider until right now. It was supposed to be for fall. I just never finished it. Maybe I'll finish my graphics this weekend. You guys are being mean. Washington State, which is the evergreen state, zero. My fall is very green. It's a very dark green, but I can be too dark because I couldn't figure out how to change the color of the words. <laughs> I have so many tech things I need to set up. <laughs> and then I figured I could transition it into Christmas. <laughs> This just seems so much harder. I like this one. This one's cute. Someone was like, yeah, so that way you can just go like this for a half heart. And I was like, you mean like this? Like, I don't. I, like, why? Why are we doing spider hands? Look at my little spider leg hands making a heart. No. This is so much easier. It does look cuter to the person doing it than it does to the person receiving it. I see that. Okay, I'm gonna go now. 